Okay, this video is about chronic disease is like a protein folding probability funnel. Okay, so I'll explain what that means. It'll make sense here in just a moment. When a protein is first synthesized, you've got a string of amino acids and it's initially in an unfolded configuration. Then it'll start to fold and ideally it will fold into the proper configuration, let's say, so it can function as an enzyme. Its active site will be shaped correctly, for example. However, for a human, by analogy, the final state for humans is to be dead, okay? So here's how this works. You've initially got a wide open funnel at the top and there, there is a high entropy and what's gonna happen is it's gonna start to fold and as the protein folds, it's gonna go drop down into these intermediate folding states. So I've got pictures of them here. So each time the protein takes a new fold, it is more and more committed toward its eventual final folding state. And what this is like with regard to chronic disease is the more damage done to your body, the harder it is to reverse it, the harder it is to be okay. And I'm going to show you a picture psychologically of what it's like. Let me just explain a little more on this diagram, then we'll go into some other images that'll clarify some of these things. So the protein starts out unfolded, string of beads, starts to fold. These are intermediate phases, ends up in its final phase. For a human, the final phase is death. And what we want to do is find a spot where we can just hang out for a couple of decades and be healthy and be free from chronic disease. And here's the picture it most reminds me of. This guy right here is Sadak, and he is in search of what is called the waters of oblivion or the waters of forgetting. It's a painting by John Martin from 1812. And so Sadak has to climb and climb till he can get to where he can find the so-called waters of oblivion. And what this reminds me of is this is the aging. And each time you're constantly knocked down to a worse and worse position. And what you really want to do is be hanging out somewhere pretty high and just stick in there for a couple decades. People can really slow down aging by decades. I mean, there's dramatic ability to slow down aging if you know what you're doing or you just get lucky and do the right things. And okay, so that's what this is all about. The bottom of this uh, protein probability, it's called probability because as soon as you go down to the lower intermediate phase, the less likely you could ever come back up again and be healthy again. And the relevance of that, like with patients, what kind of stuff do I see every day? Typical scenario, a guy has a myocardial infarction, and then because the myocardial infarction damages his heart muscle, he develops an abnormal heart rhythm. So then he gets a pacemaker put in, pacemaker gets infected, then he gets an infection spread to his blood, pacemaker has to be taken out, the infection in his blood spreads to his spine, now he's got a spinal infection, spinal os discitis osteomyelitis, um, then he gets to go on antibiotics for that, then he gets a problem with his gut bacteria like Clostridium difficile colitis from the chronic uh, antibiotics. And the point I'm saying is his, his health is systematically being knocked down by all these problems. And if he had never had the initial myocardial infarction, heart attack, he would have never got these subsequent problems. So that's what I'm saying is you want to sit tight, find your happy little ledge in the protein probability funding. Eventually you're going to die, we're all going to die, but you want to die healthy at the end and just with old age. You know, they just sort of go in their sleep, some of these old Okinawans when they're 110, okay? So, you know, our goal would be to try to get to 95, maybe more. But, all right, let's look back at the protein folding funnel again here. Okay, so that's the point. You have these progressive loss of your options as you get older, and eventually it's going to be harder and harder like Sadak to climb back up and reverse this process. So that's my point. People say, well, how could you be so motivated to eat so careful, exercise so well, and have all these good habits? You know, like, you know, my wife said to me, she said, you're an effing robot. Nobody's going to behave like you. Nobody wants to do that. And I'm like, well, not that many people perhaps are as careful as I am about it, but why not? You know, that whole everything in moderation, you know, on your plate is completely stupid. Why put good on one side of your plate and bad food on the other side of your plate? Why have a bad habit if you don't have to? Why not just do what you know is better? Anyways, I just show you this because to me it's obvious. Consider yourself lucky that you know about this low, very low fat, very low sodium vegan diet as a way to slow down this process because it's miserable. Person's going blind, getting cut up, chopped up, all these pills, 
And anyways, there is a way like we've talked about. So I'm just showing you what it's like. And biochemistry students will ask me about this. You know, I'll sometimes uh, lecture on um, biochemistry of protein. And uh, so this is the protein probability folding funnel. And protein folding gets uh, relevant for a whole bunch of diseases. And uh, this is its relevance to chronic disease. Hope that's helpful.